What up guys, Nan Doss here and I'm back today with another video and today I want to talk about the different types of tic disorders. There's actually three different types of tic disorders that are currently known and they are Tourette syndrome, persistent motor or vocal disorder and provisional tic disorder. Tourette syndrome is with Tourette's considered as the most severe out of the three. It's not like the other ones have, uh, are not severe or have their own difficulties. It's just that Tourette's, it's just that Tourette's syndrome has the most symptoms out of the three. <laughs> to be diagnosed with Tourette's syndrome, you must have at least two or more motor tics. And that could be anything from head jerking, um, eye blinking, um, kind of any kind of like body movements from like jolting out your arm or stuff like that. And must have at least one or more vocal tics. Again, that could be anything from um, clearing the throat, um, making any little sounds, um, saying or repeating phrases, etc. You must have had your tics for at least a year um, before the age of 18 and not caused by any f medical or medication. <laughs> to be um, diagnosed with a persistent um, tic disorder, same with Tourette's, you must have it, your tics for at least a year um, before the age of 18 not caused by medication or any medical um, condition and not have been diagnosed with Tourette's. Um, and the difference between um, a persistent tic disorder and Tourette's syndrome is that you can't, it's, it's motor tics or vocal tic, it's not both. Whilst Tourette's has the two. <laughs> To be, this is so hard to make right now. To be diagnosed with a provisional tic disorder, um, you must have had your tics before the age of 18, not caused by any medication or medical condition, um, not being diagnosed with Tourette or a persistent tic disorder, and must have them no longer than a year. And the same with a persistent tic disorder is either motor or vocal. Not both. Um, the same with any of these kind of conditions. You don't have to be ticking every single day. Nope. <laughs> Nobody with Tourette's syndrome ticks 24 seven. Again, it's different from case to case. Some are more severe than others, but you can have your ticks um, for a couple of days and they kind of go and can return a couple of months later. It's not uncommon for that to happen. <laughs> also, um, there's loads of people out there that um, have had, haven't had any um, tics or anything like that before the age of 18 and, and started developing Tourette's way into like their 20s, 30s, for instance. Most likely that they probably did have tics when they was a child, but probably just didn't remember it or probably didn't realise that they had tics. Um, but it's not mean to say that if you start having these kind of symptoms and start ticking at a, a later age that, you know, that you're not going to get diagnosed. Um, my, Tourette's didn't f my Tourette's didn't get worse until my late teens, like 18 onwards. Um, I had like very mild ones when I was younger, um, like some like facial tics and stuff like that. But it wasn't until like later on that my tics were getting worse. Um, but yeah, if you do, if you do, if you do show any kind of, any kind of the, those symptoms, Get it checked out because 
it might be Tourette's or, or tic disorder, or it might be another medical um, neurological disorder. Um, by no means am I, you know, capable of giving anyone a diagnosis or anything like that. Um, you know, so, so don't go from my word, okay? But um, go and see a doctor, get it checked out, and, um, but yeah. I just wanted to make a video talking about the different tick disorders. So, but yeah, if if you like this video, please give it a like. Please hit the subscribe. Also, um, let me know in the comment section below on different kinds of videos to make. Also, um, let me know in the comment section below, like if you have Tourette's or a tick disorder, tell me about it. I, I'm still learning about this stuff as I go. So it's been awesome kind of like hearing foot different kind of um, stories and experiences from other people. Um, it's just been fascinating. It's just been really cool kind of connecting with you guys. So, but yeah, um, if you enjoy this video, again, please give it a like, please hit the subscribe. And um, until next time, keep on ticking and peace.